Hello my shadows and welcome to my let's play for Mario Party 6 minigames extravaganza where we'll be playing a random character and we're going to be playing different minigame modes. So we're going to see who we're going to get. It's a little bit more difficult to choose random in this game, but we're going to be playing Luigi. Okay, cool. Against Waluigi, his... Actually, yeah, it would be his alter ego. That's true. With Boo, and of course all computers are going to be on Brutal, and we're going to be playing against Toad last but not least. So we play minigame tour already, and the next order of business will be Battle Bridge, which is to win minigames to be the first player to cross the bridge, where a troll is sure to be lurking, according to Dora's logic, yeah. So let's go. Twyla, take us home, girl. Come on. Come on with it. Actually, I heard recently that Twyla and I think Brido is his name, they swap genders based on region, something like that. Welcome to Scenic Battle Bridge. In this game, the first player to cross the bridge is the winner. But to cross the bridge, you'll have to beat your rivals in tough minigames. Before the bridge crossing can begin, you need to choose the right settings and rules. Choose the number of minigame victories required to win the battle. Um, you know what? We could do like seven, but I think I'm going to do a nice even five, or like the middle number five. Next, please choose the type of minigames you want to play. So I feel like we could do four player, one versus three, two versus two. Um, we'll do four player. I mean, we see those games a lot more often, but we could do that. It's fun. Maybe one day I'll come back and do more, more of these if I like it. Excellent. Let's begin the bridge battle. Remember, you need to win five games to cross the bridge and win. Yes, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill your gabber and so we can get started. Okay, okay, Twyla. And we'll be playing Trap Ease Artist, which means you have to basically capture as many Goombas as possible by pressing A at the right time. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's really just, it's, it's kind of random in a way. You just hope for the best. Ooh, ooh, no, I missed the gold one by hair. Oh, I was so close to getting it. Dang it. Man, I messed up. I meant to catch... I might have won. We'll see. we'll see. So I have one, two, three. Toads ahead so far. Four, five. Oh, no! How the heck a win? Of course he won. He's a mushroom. For crying out loud. Shh, please. He's just a walking, talking mushroom with a diaper. Let's be real. Although not as nasty as when he was just like without a hat and everything. That picture of him that was going around Twitter. On to the next minigame. And hopefully it'll be something I can actually win at. You'll be playing catch you later, really. For this one, you have to take as many letters as possible to Shy Guy and try to win. You're basically bombarding him with your letters to get it sent out. And it's kind of rude. But you know what? Shy Guy runs away from you, so it's only fair. Come on. I would run too if all these heifers were coming at me, though. That would be mad scary. Especially if Shy Guy is anxious. That's why he wears a mask in the first place. Like, maybe we're the reason he wears a mask. Luigi's the only one that's seen him without one, actually. So, it kind of makes sense. As to why he wears the mask in the first place. The only time Luigi saw it, or the only time it was seen by someone's real face, is during Mario Tennis. Or something like that. Finish. Come, Oh, come on! All three of them had a three-way tie. Are you kidding me? That's lame. That's lame as I don't know what. So now all three of them get to move across the bridge, or did they just sit still? Oh. No one moves. <laughs> That's dumb. That is so dumb. You should all be able to get to move. That makes no sense. Treasure trawlers, which is where you wait for a rumble to see if you get treasure to pull up in your crane. And actually, today I've tried like a new um, coffee on a solar eclipse, no less. Oh, I didn't feel rumble. I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I tried a new coffee today, and it's not bad. It just tastes like what I thought it would. just like vanilla bean. It's vanilla flavored, of course, but um, yeah. It tastes like odd, in a way. I'm, I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I just wanted to try something new, because I've always had blonde coffee or 5 o'clock one. And I have K-Pod, so if you guys have K-Pod recommendations, let me know. Ooh! I have not gotten any, but I think I might have got one. Yes. Finally. I wish there were a gold one to put me a little bit, like, to level the playing field a bit, but oh well. I'll take what I can get, which is really still losing <laughs> to Boo. Whatever, man. Whatever. Get out of here. 
And I wish I could see the solar eclipse without hurting my eyes. Dang it. <laughs> Boot is victorious, unfortunately. Tori Vega, I see you. On to the next minigame. Hopefully it'll be something exciting. Please, please, please. It'll- Really? Really, girl? And it's the nighttime one, so. Circuit Maximus. At least if we're playing this, we're playing it at night, you know? Makes it a little bit better. I am the queen of the nights, though. I won't sing the opera, but yeah, I am. I love nighttime. Oh, come on! I've thrived at night and come alive. And why am I failing so badly? The timing is just terrible. It's like right out the gate. You have to already dodge them. And take advantage of incivil- Yeah, incivil- I'm not saying that word. Ugh. Toad's gonna smoke all of us, I can already tell. Which is fitting, because he- Anyway. <laughs> Never mind. At least he's gotta make up for his height somehow. He's very short and stubby. So, he's gotta make up for it by winning minigames. Kind of feeling like a man or something. You'll be playing No to Self. Which makes me want to watch Barbie Diaries, because that's the song in it. Which is basically trying to get the most points by, like, bouncing off of each other, getting the notes. The half notes or what? Quarter note. Quarter- bleh. Actually, is it half notes? I don't think it's a quarter note. A quarter note's, like, without that flag thing. I don't know how to describe it. Sorry. An eighth note. I think it's a sixteenth note. It's been a long time since I've been in chorus, man. Okay. Come on. Really? Alright, it's time to bounce off some Heffa's heads. It's time to stomp on some heads. You kidding me? I bet you I lost. I came. Yeah, I lost. To Toad again? Yeah, he's gonna win. No doubt. There's only five mini games you have to win in a row, and you're fine. Or, in general, like, you just have to win five. Crap. That stinks. <laughs> on to the next mini game. Please be like the, the difference game or the ground pound thing even. Ooh, I forgot about this one. I love Granite Getaway. It's Skateboard Scamper of Mario Party 6, essentially. Without skateboards, of course. Skateboard Scamper is a classic. Yeah. Yep. Do you run? Or do you have an op- No, you just go at the same speed. You just have to avoid your obstacles. But yeah, this is the game that stuck out to me the most. Well, one of them. Next to the one where you're driving the car together and cleaning the windows. This is the one that stuck out to me the most from my time playing Mario Party 6. And I think I played it when I was actually... So it came out 2004, I was 6 actually. Playing Mario Party 6. Hmm, <laughs> the irony. I'm pretty sure I was 6 at that time. 04. Yep. Mario Party 3 was my first mini game. Or first mini game? My first board game for Mario Party. Board game? First Mario Party. Let's just leave it at that. Ooh, crud! I remember the days when you could play it at like at a uh, McDonald's. You could play it on the 64. <sighs> I loved it. They had actual kiosks set up in the store, and I went there just to play it. <laughs> and it was nice because I like McDonald's at the time and everything. So I still do. Just we know it's unhealthy. We know. You'll be thro playing. Throw me a bone. Are you ready to play? Yes, I am. I want to be throwing a bone too. Honestly, to get help, I would be perfectly fine with that. And the record is 33 seconds. Okay. This is kind of like Chain Chomp Romp from Mario Party 5. Now that I think about it, unless I said that before, I don't know. Um, are you basically having to direct the Chain Chomp and crud? I knew that was coming. You have to direct the Chain Chomp by, you know, throwing a bone instead of just using a whistle. And I know I'm going to hit the, col the column, the pillar. I like pillar better. It sounds more... I don't know. What's the word? Sophisticated? I also like someone to say that they're their pillar of their group or something. I just like that euphemism for some reason. <gasps> I beat the record? Okay, that's extra, but I'm fine with that. Okay. It's like having, you know, ordering a regular pizza and coming away with extra pepperoni when you didn't ask for it. You're like, okay, cool. Fine, I'll take it. And we are victorious, finally. Maybe we could really be a TV star after all. I don't know. That was lame. You'll be playing Snow War- Oh, come on. <sighs> Chimar. This is one where you have to hit the combinations exactly. And I failed at this several times, so we will see. <laughs> you already know. 
Okay. Oh. Crap. I messed up. I, I did better than last time, I think. I did better. 1890 degrees. That's not bad. Compared to what I did before. It's just because I was slow on the uptake. I was slow on, like, hitting the combos, but... Crud, he beat the record by a long shot. Wow, he just beat, like, blew it out of the water. And that Aurora Borealis looks like Trix Yogurt. <laughs> just saying. They tied? Are you kidding me? What kind of mess? Next is Toad. And he's gonna get... He's probably gonna lose. Just barely. Oh, nope. Yep, my... First thought was he was going to win, but I was like, nah, maybe not. Psych. I got the worst out of all of them. Wow. <laughs> Luigi just doesn't catch a break, ever. Nope. And to- Oh wait, Toad's actually really close to winning, I forgot. Snap. He's really close. Okay, we gotta- We gotta try to get me caught up somehow. Oh no! This is the wrong one to be caught up on. Lift leapers? For real? Are you for serious? Dang it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. <gasps> ooh. 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 It's a platformer, so... <gasps> what? I usually don't do this badly on it, though. What the heck? How did I fall like that? I used to, back when I was younger, do really terrible. But as I've gotten older, I kind of understand how it works more. Just back then, I was really awful. Ooh, like now, right now. Ooh, that's bad. I think I lost this one because I'm... I fell like twice and I'm and Toad's on the next screen. Like I thought he would be the heifer. Slow down so the rest of us can catch up, for real. You ain't got no problems. Oh, I should have waited. <sighs> My timing was awful. Ugh He still managed to pull through and he won the whole entire bridge game. Cool. Good for you, grandpa grandma. Whatever you can win bridge. Good job. Granny. Obachan. And he won, dang it. <laughs> I, I called it though. You guys know I called it from the beginning. Or from early on, to be more accurate. This is certainly. Wait, what? This is certainly unexpected. Several players are locked in a tie. I suppose we'll have to settle this batch by hitting a dice block. Wait, we're not tied? What? Whoever gets the highest number wins? Toad was in the front, wasn't he? Oh. That's what that means, really. So that means I get fourth. That's all that means. Wow. What was even the point of determining who was fourth and who was third? Like, really? Wait, I got third? Okay. Could I? I don't know. Alright, whatever. So I'd rank that probably a... 3 out of 5. That was okay. Next, we should be doing Treetop Bridge. Bingo. Um, yeah, whatever. But no promises. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys, and smiles all around.